Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about Hamming distance. In this tutorial, I will give you the idea about Hamming distance and minimum Hamming distance, but how they are used for error correction and detection purposes that we will study later in a separate tutorial, right? So in coding for error control, one of the central concept is the idea of Hamming distance, right? Now, what is this Hamming distance? The Hamming distance between two words of the same size is the number of difference between the corresponding bits. Right now, suppose uh, there are two words x and y, then the Hamming distance between two words x and y is shown as like this dxy. Right now, here you can see these two words 0, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 1. The Hamming distance uh, between these two words is 2. Right, because here you can see the number of differences between the corresponding bits in these two numbers is 2. Here you can see that this bit in this word right is uh, different from the corresponding bit in the another word right this bit in this word is uh, also different from the corresponding bit in another word so here the number of differences between the corresponding bits is 2 so the hamming distance between these two words is 2 now how we can find the hamming distance between two words uh, to find the hamming distance between two words what we will do we will apply exclusive or operation on the two words right and after applying uh, exclusive uh, or operation on these two words what we will get we will get a result right and on that result in that result we will count the number of ones right and the number of ones in the result will give the hamming distance between the two words suppose uh, these are the two words 0 0 0 and 0 1 1 and we have to find the hamming distance between these two words so what we will do first uh, we will apply the exclusive or operation on these two words when we apply exclusive or operation on these two words we will get this result 0 1 1 now in this result we will count the number of ones so here the you can see that there are two number of ones there are two ones so the hamming distance between th these two words is 2 now the next topic is minimum hamming distance so what is this minimum hamming distance in coding scheme the smallest distance between all possible pairs is called the minimum hamming distance right and it is denoted by d min right uh, so what is the minimum hamming distance uh, in a coding scheme the smallest uh, Hamming distance between all possible pairs is called the minimum Hamming distance and it is denoted by this symbol right now consider a coding scheme which is having these code words this code word this this and this now we have to find the minimum Hamming distance so to find the minimum Hamming distance in this case what we will do we will find the Hamming distance between all possible pairs in this case right so what we will do in this case uh, to find the minimum Hamming distance what we have to do we have to find all Hamming distances right so these are the code words right in the coding scheme so uh, what we will do uh, between all possible pairs we will find the Hamming distance so here you can see we have found the Hamming distance between all possible pairs right so here you can see the Hamming distance between these two code words is 3, Hamming distance between these two code words is 3, Hamming distance between these two code words is 4. You can see here, right, we have found the Hamming distance between all possible pairs of the code words. So in this case, what happened? In this case, the minimum Hamming distance is 3, right? The minimum Hamming distance is 3, right? So what happens? here the smallest Hamming distance between all possible pairs is 3 so in this case the minimum Hamming distance is 3 right now now see what happens when a code word is corrupted during transmission then the Hamming distance between the received code word and the sent code word is the number of bits corrupted during transmission right so what happens the Hamming distance between the sent and received code word is s when s error occurs during transmission right now this uh, concept of Hamming distance and minimum Hamming distance is used for error detection and correction purposes how they are used for error detection and correction that we will study later in a separate tutorial right so 
uh, what happens uh, to guarantee the detection up to as errors in all cases the minimum having distance in a block code must be as plus one right so what happens uh, if our code is to detect up to as errors then the minimum distance between the valid codes must be as plus one right so although a code with the minimum harming distance as plus one may be able to detect more than as errors in some special cases right now to guarantee error correction up to t errors right to guarantee error correction up to t errors in all cases the minimum harming distance in block code must be 2t plus 1 right so what happens to guarantee error correction up to t errors the minimum harming distance between the code words must be 2t plus 1 right and to guarantee the detection up to s errors the minimum harming distance between the code words must be s plus 1